haven't even filmed in so long. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Over to you. Hi, Rosie. You're the expert. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. As you can see, guys, I have Rosie Huntington Whiteley at my house. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm obviously really excited to have you here. I was just saying that one of my very first YouTube videos, and there's probably not many of you that even remember this far back, but I did a makeup look on one of your Vogue covers. Oh, it was a Vogue cover? Yes. You're oh. going like this. Of course, there's only one look <laughs> for a magazine. As you do, there's only one look I have, and it's usually and it's that beautiful big hair oh, and like the, the kind of heavy eyeshadow, and I, oof, yeah. I loved it. So yeah, I thought that was kind of crazy. I'm obviously very nervous. I'm really honoured to be with you and oh. excited to talk all things rose ink. Absolutely. So you just well, you came out with rose ink in 2018, and now you have your own product. Yeah, that's so exciting. It is. It feels like my whole kind of career, my like nearly 20 year career led me to this point. And as you said, I launched um, my content platform or the editorial site Rose Inc in 2018. And mm -hmm. I also launched my YouTube channel as well at the time. I really just wanted to build a community around my passion for beauty. Yeah. Um, and also to get across my passion for beauty because I've loved makeup since I can really remember since sitting on the edge of my mum's bed and watching her get ready for work or for a night out and then of course you know since the age of 16 being in the hair and makeup chair every day yes. for work so I'm just you know this is a big 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 moment for me and I'm really very happy to congrats I feel like that's what I loved when you first launched Rose Inc that I could feel just how much you really love yeah. makeup and beauty so. yeah I've loved following that page ever since. Oh good, that makes it. me happy. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, and the line looks amazing. Should we start with the skincare? Yes, yeah, sure. Just, so we have two skincare products here. We have the AHA toner, the Skin Resolution Clarifying Toner. Feels so good. And this is cool because the pink clay settles at the bottom and then you, you shake it up and it sort of disperses through, through the toner. And it gives this lo lovely kind of oddly satisfying moment. And that pink clay that settles at the bottom is really calming to the skin. And then of course it's packed full of all your AHA, so you're exfoliating, um, exfoliating your glycolics, your lactic acid, your salicylic acids. I have acne prone skin and really have had that my entire adult life. So making a gentle daily exfoliating toner was an essential for me. So that's where I start. And then I go over to my Radiant Reveal brightening serum which is a kind of bit of a does it all and this is great for a.m. and p.m. because it's it's a little bit like a primer meets serum meets moisturizer it absorbs straight away it that's absorbs what I noticed beautifully I like to do less is more with this so I stick to one to two pumps because it's really indulgent and it's right. got a lovely as you can feel like lovely sensory feel to it, it and makeup works beautifully over the top of it but it's also really lovely and indulgent in the evening. It's got this lovely scent, it's got the patchouli yes, oil in there. So nice. And the neroli, so it's got a very kind of grounding scent oh, to it. Oh, okay, I like how you've done that. Yeah. So I like to pump a couple of pumps into my hand and just take some deep breaths at the end of a stressful day and, you know, just put it all over the face, the neck. Well, I already put this on, both of these on, earlier today before yep. I put my base on. Um, nice. And now we can maybe move on to some of the other products yeah. that you've got. You sent me this the other day. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm so happy to hear that. This is the one, people keep asking me what I think is going to be the top product for us, mm -hmm. what the hero product, and I do think it's going to be our Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer, which we've got in 20 shades. And this is the product that I keep hearing the most positive feedback yeah. from community members that have already tried the product, makeup artists that have been playing around with the product. I like the doe foot. Yeah, the doe foot's a little larger. And what was great about this, I wanted to do a slightly bigger bottle because I like to wear this actually instead of applying foundation now. You know, day to day, I think since COVID in the last year, we're wearing a little bit less I wear makeup. a lot less. And yeah. we want to get quick and ready, we're at home. So I dot it around my face and the areas Everywhere. like you, and then blend. You've got like some deeper colors there. Do you use that for contouring and stuff too? That's you your skin can. Tone? In fact, I think I have deeper colors here because I'm still working with lab samples of even oh. my own products. So I'm mixing things around here. But LX, I'm using LX60 today and I'm blending it with um, LX100. And that's what's... That's what's really nice about these concealers is you can just, you can find your exact shade or you can really kind of mix and match them 
I mean, my complexion changes throughout the year, okay. obviously, and if I'm more tanned or... I like to use a lighter color under my eyes, yes. personally. Although, I think I need to get a deeper shade for under my eyes. I put fake tan on last night, if you can't smell it. <laughs> I couldn't smell it. Oh, good. <laughs> I am a fellow fake tan lover. So, and then this brush, you'll see here, this is the concealer brush. This has a lovely kind of domed, like, half moon shape, which fits really beautifully. It does. I designed it to fit really beautifully underneath the eyes obviously around the nose, all those kind of like contoured areas of the face. Look at that. It's really amazing. Yeah. I also, when I tested it out on my art finger here, I had yeah. a scar there and it completely erased yeah. it and filled it in and and it is, it's, it's, amazing. it's brightening, it's blurring, it doesn't cake or crease, it holds up for me throughout the day and it's just got that lovely kind of luminous finish. It's not too dewy or, or no. oily, the finish, and it's not too matte as well. So it really keeps your skin looking like skin. And I bet you threw some skincare ingredients in yes. there. Yes, so this has got some amazing ingredients. It's got the Fig Buttercup Extract. I was oh, fig butter tripped up on that Fig Buttercup Extract. Don't want to say that too fast. <laughs> And it's got the squalane in there, which are both gonna add this lovely kind of weightless hydration to it. And then it's got tara gum and chicory, which have this wonderful like lifting effect. So oh, you, good. you know, applying it on the eye, under the eye and across the sort of complexion, you just get this wonderful like oh, good. lifting effect, which Actually, who doesn't want lifting what, effect? No, yeah, look what I put under my hair to pull my face back today. So I'm getting the That's double That's cool being a mum. Right, right. You and need you a good liquid concealer and you need a good Ponytail, yeah, hidden under there. No, that's amazing. I love, that's love a that. Good supermodel, is trick it? That is. Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. I figured it out just when I couldn't do my own eyeliner anymore. Like, I couldn't get the flick you know, to go through would, my crease properly. You would um, be surprised the amount of girls backstage begging the hairdressers to give them little braids to. Oh my god. And this and concealer is something that I don't feel like I can miss anymore. Like, if it's just a little bit under my eyes, at least. And even I don't mind going without mascara anymore. Yeah. I like that look. Me too. So it really, day to day, it's replaced my foundation and that's why I wanted a slightly bigger bottle. Amazing. I'm really pleased with this product. I think it's my, well, I can't, everyone keeps asking me what my favorite is and it's like choosing your favorite child. But it might be your most But there used. is always a one standout child, I feel like, in a family. <laughs> and that, obviously, we'll I We'll leave it at mine. that. Um, <laughs> that is, sorry bro, sorry sis. Um, uh, but yeah, so this is a real standout. Mm -hmm. I really, really recommend it. And I think people will, will really like to kind of weave this into their daily routine. So. Absolutely. What would you do next? After that, I like to go to blush. Got it. Um, and so what color have you got there? I've got Heliotrope here, which is my favorite of all the colors. It's a little bit of a paler, um, kind of hmm, taupey, rosy color. Got and you have oh this is kind of, well this you is have uh, an enemy Dahlia there and Dahlia, and we've got six shades in the range, and I really wanted them all to have their own identity, and a little bit of this goes a long way. Are they refills? So you they're can... refillable. So this oh, palette is refillable, and yeah. then you have the refill here, which you would buy like this in the little um, bubble. And, and you poke you would, through the hole? You would poke through the hole to push out the pan. Cotton I will packaging. preface this by saying... Don't use much. Just go easy on it. Okay. It's so highly pigmented, which I'm really proud of, because of course these products are all clean, but it's so long wear, but I like to start with a little bit and build. Build up. Not that I need to tell you how to wear it. No, but I agree with you on that. Just start lighter. And this brush I also designed specifically for the product as well, because it picks it up really beautifully. And it just diffuses it across the skin in a really effortless way. So I always like to, like to tap off any excess in the back of my hand like so I can see where I'm going. And I'm actually wearing this now, but I'm gonna just touch up and then... Could I have tissue when you get it? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, definitely, I'm gonna give you one. That's your really tissue. heavy. <gasps> Whoa. Thank you. you <laughs> I should have put it here earlier. And I wanted to see which color I want to use. Do you have that on your lips as well, or do you have... I've used these two colors for my lips, but you can use this. So this is our Divine Lip and Cheek color. Oh. And it's really multi-purpose, and so you can really use it across the whole complexion. And Dahlia. I love a cream blush. I don't know about you. I, it's pretty much all I use, yeah. But I love the way it leaves your skin really creamy, really dewy, it gives you that instant radiance. I put this on at like six in the morning seven in the morning when I'm getting ready for my day. And 
it's still there at the end of the day. So it's lovely long. I told you. I told you. Oh no, look. More. But blend, just keep blending. That's the wonderful thing about cream products as well. Yeah. Is you can't mess them up. No, they go so right into really the skin. really multi-purpose. You could even go back in with a little bit of concealer now and dull that down. That's a really lovely color on you. I do love it. I feel like it would make my eyes look so blue. Popped or something. Yeah. And I actually really like to just even pop like whatever's left on the brush across my kind of in that brow bone area. And that really kind of incorporates the whole, the sort of color scheme across your whole face. I love it and I love the texture of it as well. It's almost yeah. painful to have to put I know. your finger. It feels I so know. soft. I know. It's I always like get sad when you have to smush around the, the first fingerprints the deepest, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. What's next? I'll either start with brow or I'll go to brow like halfway through, depends. But brow is essential for me. If, even if I'm not wearing a scrap of makeup, which is rare, but you know, if you've got to run out to the gym or run out to run an errand, What's I always, about? always do my brows. So the bigger brush is the clear. So this is the pomade. And I like to apply this first and really kind of get my brows into the shape that I want. It's oh. got a lovely kind of lifting effect because it's the pomade. Really kind of push it in and it's very plush. lift. Brush. And I love the softness of this brush as well. Yeah. So really lift those follicles of your brows up. And then I like to go in with my fill shade afterwards. So I wear fill shade two, sometimes fill shade three, Wait, depending on amazing. how dramatic I like my brows to be. So I like to think of it as being like a real nourishing product for the brow hair. Right. So we've got the pea sprout extract in here along with the squalane, which is gonna give lovely kind of hydration to the hair follicles, but also encourage the hair regrowth. So. Mm -hmm. It's working for you at the same time as giving you that lovely kind of full brow that's, look. That's great. I mean, I haven't found a clear brow mascara that I've loved in a yeah. long time. And that is so nice. Yeah, I quickly. love that tip of you putting the clear one first. Because I would yeah. think it's the other way around. Well, I like to finish off with the clear as well. And I'll tell you why. Because I feel like sometimes what you do with the fill color is you're still, you've, you've got enough dispersed through there and then you're trying to get it back into shape and you just continue to add more and more and more and then all of a sudden you've got two big hairy slugs on your face. So I like to just get exactly the right amount of color through and then go back through with the pomade just to finally set them into the shape that I want. Right. Okay, should we move on to yep. lips? What's and next? then the final um, product in our um, color offering is the Lip Sculpt. So Lip Sculpt Amplifying Lip Color. And this is a really beautiful kind of buttery, matte lip product. This is great, this lip color still. Yeah, so you've got a really lovely berry, with a really lovely berry color there. Well, it kind of I've, goes with the blush Yeah, that I exactly. And so what I've actually got on now, I layered Quartz, which oh. is this mauvey pinky color and then I've got on the abstraction. Well, I applied the quartz first all over and then I just sort of, cause it's quite pink and I just wanted to take it back a little bit. So I applied the abstraction over the top and I applied this like two hours ago. Mm, this feels really, really good. It does not feel like a matte. Really yeah, so it's, it is, it has got a lovely finish to it and it's long wear as well. I like to pat. Yeah. It in. Yeah, I do as well. Sometimes I feel like when you first put a lip product on, it's very, it feels very prominent on your face, and actually just by smushing it in with your finger, it kind of takes it back a little bit. It feels more it. lived in. It feels more effortless. Mm. But that's the nice thing again about this really lovely hydrating formula Super soft. is that you can kind of play around with it. And my lips feel very pillowy. Because they are very pillowy. Beautiful lips. <laughs> Stop it, you! Oh my gosh! And so, also really handy to put in your purse. Yeah, to I ups. call this like the bottom of my handbag product because it's one of those lip products that you can just wear day to day, day to night. Comfortable. They're comfortable. You can throw them on the back of a car. Um, you know, whilst you're not whilst driving, but if you're in the back of a taxi or something without a mirror, and you can kind of just throw them on, and they feel very effortless. You don't have to think about them too much, and they wear down really lovely throughout the day. Do you well, think so. that's like the rose ink look, the very effortless? Yeah, yeah, we call one of the pillars of our brand is effortless and effective. So I'm, I'm very. This is our first collection. This is Modern Essentials collection, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to launch rose ink as a very curated kind of brand. So mm -hmm. we'll continue to add in products every few months. Great. 
keeping it really curated and tight and not having too many skews where it's overwhelming and, and being able to storytell around everything. So so as of today, Rose yeah. Inc. is not out yet. Not today. But by the time you guys see this, yes. it might be available in your area. Yeah. Where, when does it launch? So 27th of August in North America and Canada, okay. and along with Space and K in the UK. And I think it's just a little bit later, a few weeks later in Mecca in Australia. So. I'm Yay. so overwhelmed because, you know, when I set out to do this, those were like the retailers that I really, really wanted want to. to go into and and to kind of be partnered with them on this is just really, oh, is really exciting and I know they're going to house my products so beautifully. Yeah. So, and hopefully available for everybody to get their hands Yes, on. and I have one more question. So when you first launched Rose Inc. in 2018, mm -hmm. the online community, mm -hmm. was it your plan to also have makeup? Products. That's what I want to know. Like, how it was long my have you been hope. doing this? It was my hope. I started the content platform and it was very much about building a community and cementing my authority and my passion for beauty. And I sort of knew I wanted to launch beauty, but I didn't know how to go about mm -hmm. it. And it's very complicated and there's a myriad of different ways of doing that, of course. And I sort of thought building a community first was going to be a much more unique way, an authentic way of launching products. Mm -hmm. and. And so I, I launched the content platform thinking, well, maybe I can launch products. We'll see if it's a success, if, if people are even interested in hearing what I have to say when it comes to beauty. And, and here we are, well, over three years after the launch of the content site. And, and um, I think what's wonderful is we've built this community, but hopefully Rose Inc. products are going to reach so much further than, than just the community that we've we've accumulated so far, so it's really yeah. special. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Chloe, such a Thank pleasure. You. Thank you, that was amazing. Yeah, it was lovely, Thank you. Bye guys, see ya.